Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia Competition by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? Well, <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. You don't even know California! <laughs> The movie's called Get Fucked. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the dozen seasons oh, of Town Hall. Oh, All right, it's a dozen. Match 222 with two familiar-looking teams. One especially. An old, an old team, an OG team. Chicago, ranked number 11, which seems a little low to start the season. Chief, Carl, White Sox Dave, back again in the dozen. Third season, all-star Chief, by the way. And on the other side, it is, in their second season, the Booze Ponies. Dana, Will Compton, Chef Donnie, both with brand new, fresh logos, by the way. I love both those logos. Go to the Barstool store now, you can get both those shirts. Uh, those are both great shirts, even if you're not a fan of the team. They're, like, generically cool, too. This match brought to you by Manscaped. That's right. And Manscaped wants you to know it's it's fresh ball fall, folks. It's not just a season of pumpkin spice. Uh, what else? Orchards, I guess? Apple picking? Cider? Those ghost face masks from Scream that you could pump blood into if you go trick-or-treating? Those are crazy. Uh, it's also about making sure... Your below the waist is groomed. Uh, it smells nice, looks great. Same with your hair, your nose, your ear. And that's why they're offering the Manscaped Platinum Package 4 Pinot. Got everything you need. The Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. Don't pick your nose hair, folks. You could die. Look it up. It's a dump. Get this thing. You, you shave your nose hair. Ultra Premium Body Wash, 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, uh, Premium Deodorant, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, and the Reviver Ball Toner. It's a little ball spritzer. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, that's probably the best thing in this package. It's all great, but the ball spritzer changes your life. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off of free shipping with the code DOZEN. That's 20% off of free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code DOZEN, D-O-Z-E-N. Manscaped, clear out the leaves, bring out the cider, pick some apples, carve your pumpkins, and make sure everything on your body is ready to shine with the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0. There might be a little dissension on our team oh, right now. Oh, I'm getting question. to that in a second. Carl yeah, uh, uh, Carl, and Dave, you. Dave, I'll start with you real quick. You had your highest performance of the season in the game you guys lost in the tournament. Maybe it rolls into the season in season three? Are you asking me a question or tell me? Like, <laughs> does it roll into season three? Oh, yeah, it absolutely okay, does. Good. My mind is sharp, uh, as always. And then, Carl... You know, you, this is not like Butler, you know, back in, what was it, 2010? The Final Four is going to be live in Chicago this year. Live streamed on YouTube, by the way. Uh, the Final Four, you will wait a week to play, and you will go in, in a theater, which I won't say the theater yet, but you can't you can't think about that yet, right? Can't get too far ahead. Well, I wasn't thinking about it until you just brought <laughs> it up, so thank you. Glad to be back for season uh, – there's, this is like American Idol at this point. It's always going on. I don't know what season it is. I don't know what the contest is. I'm starting to lose concept of what the stakes are just because people love it so much, so you just have to give the people what they want. Um, this is I just get it. I love it. I want to know. Yeah. yeah. Time to go want to know. We're Let's get to that dissension. Though. They're, they're, uh, the group chat for the Booze Ponies is a war zone lately. Dana versus Will Compton is as hot as ever. Uh, Dana, does it start with when you cut Nebraska for your college choices? Yeah, I, I, I understand. Uh, Will, hey, what do you mean, yeah, that's where it starts? That's not where it started. You tell me, it Will. Started, it started with you promising, promising. On multiple occasions, I got the receipts, brother. Nebraska's in the top three. I'm working my dick off to try and get you the red carpet rollout for you flying in to have a full-on five-star experience in Nebraska the weekend that we go. And then you hit me up, hey, man, like, we might have something going on. Like, I think I'm going to have to fly in during the afternoon of the fucking game. I'm like, okay, well, we need you there in the morning. And you go, if I'm going to be a legend, I'm going to fly in the night before, first flight out the next day. I might be a little I might be a little hungover, but legends, the legends make it happen. That was the conversation. And you were supposed to come 
that first home game. And the fact that you just, after one week, week zero, just jump ship, that's why your name that's why your name in my phone book is Dana Fraud now because hey, we might lose oh, this game. You, you, might, this. you might you might go you might go shop yourself to another team if we lose <laughs> this game. Hey. This is how we ended last season fighting. We can't start this season in a fight. Oh, Let's go. Will is like the fifty third man on the roster showing up to the fucking team meeting twenty minutes late. Will, you scored a point last season. You scored a single point. You can't be showing up half an hour late, but that's all in the past. Let's play hey, some hey, points. Hey, Dana, do you want me Correction, to there were two points total. Two points total, one per game, brother. We'll be fine. I got I got two points on all of that, that kerfuffle right there. One, Dana, you had every right to jump ship after a team lost to Northwestern because Northwestern is the most pathetic excuse of a football team I've ever seen. And that's coming from Northwestern fan. Number two, if you would like me to roll out the red carpet for you at Nebraska, I can do that. Just let me know. Day a hey, White Sox, Dave. That's because your word means shit, dude. You're nothing. You, you have shit. no loyalty. You have no loyalty for the boys. Hey, you have no loyalty for the boys. It wasn't an easy decision. There was three kids who got my name tattooed on their legs, and they were Nebraska fans. I think I wanted <laughs> to do that. Those poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I mean, that's just questionable. Oh. Uh, very. But those guys are watching this right now, though. So. Like, so hey, hey, <laughs> you'd have hey, to imagine if the tattoo they don't miss Dana content, no, right? The, hey, the real reason. Hey, the real reason. Let's just get it out in the air now. The real reason Dana didn't go, not because they lost to Northwestern. That was just an easy excuse. He had to move furniture in with his girlfriend that he's living with. <laughs> That's where it's at. Look, I got grass. This is not New York City anymore. I got trees. I got nature. I fucking love it. This is so much better than where I was living. Oh my god, that, that was that was really we well, we we the season, boys. We're from the balcony them. bed, from the balcony bed to your girlfriend's child room bed. Uh, <laughs> bit of a fall from content grace, We're depending on your pr- content preferences. Let's fresh start, fresh start, Willie. Fresh start. Right, let's, let's see if this right, 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 right. It's New Year, New Year, New Year. That was. Wait, we deferred, right? The coin. You, uh, you did def- booze ponies, so Chicago had a chance to go first or second. You deferred. No one's done that before. I like that move. Booze ponies want to go first. They wanted to make a statement. Chicago, you'll go second. You're ranked number eleven. Booze ponies fifteen. Twelve rounds of trivia. Twenty four questions. Thirty five seconds per answer. Uh, Fifteen seconds or twenty seconds per steal. Three lifelines. Double up. Double any category you want, uh, except for round ten, which is the niche category round. Call a friend and the double dip. You cannot use a call a friend and double dip with any category worth two points. Here we go. Booze Pony Chicago, 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Chicago will be in the live event in New York, taking on Frank the Tank, Frank and the Frankettes on November 8th, by the way. Tickets on sale soon. Here we go. First category is Major League Baseball. For the Booze Ponies. Oh, 35 seconds. Let's get ready to steal it, boys. Let's get ready to steal it. This is throwing me off real quick. Can you, like, put our teams in order? I, I'm, not able to, I'm not able to do Let's that. Let's go, Dana. This. It's really annoying, I know. It's really annoying. Come on, Dana. In 2006, <laughs> on, the team has appeared in the NLCS the most without qualifying for the World Series in that time span. 35 seconds for Booze Ponies. Without qual. Ooh. A, are the Giants in the NLCS? Yeah, but they went to a, a World Series. Are the NL? Did they go to a World Series? Yeah, they did. And to that right. well, since 2006. That's what I'm saying. I because I, because I know I know the Cardinals. I know the Cardinals yep. have. They've went to a World Series. So like, who have the Cardinals beaten in some of those NLCS? Four. I'm trying to remember. Three, Dana. Four. Two, Dana. One. Uh, Giants. Is it- Other side. Is it the game? So I, the only te- National League teams that haven't been in the World Series in this time span would be the Pirates, the Reds, the Diamondbacks. Uh, well, I guess does this include current teams, Padres? Not really sure. Snooky. Yeah, hey, that's yeah, a good so. Point. Which one of those? Which one? Of, how many of those teams have been in the playoffs? Uh, the Padres. I, to I, me, I think the Diamondbacks have won an NLDS against the Cubs. They might have won one the next year in, in 08, 09. So my guess Pirates. is Diamondbacks. That, you want to go? Say- that's my guess, Diamondbacks. All right, we'll take that. Brewers. <laughs> That's a good start. That boy Carl was rattling off team names like he knew the entire history of baseball. Well, that's, I'm going through the teams that have 
played in the World Series in the last 16 years, Will. How many uh, NLCS appearances for the Brewers, Jeffrey? I don't have the number in front of me. It's got to be it's got to be three or more because the Cubs have gone twice. Oh no, they the went Cubs to the World Series. Series. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, let's. Oh, if you remember that one, twice then. Since 2006, same question, but AL. What team has appeared in the ALCS the most without qualifying for the World Series in the time span? I feel like that could be the Indians or the no, Guardians. They, the World Series they were in 2016. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. All right, the Royals went. The White Sox have not gone. Family show in. Guardians. So it's nobody in. It's not. Uh, the Twins, the Twins never went. Did they? They lost to the Yankees a bunch with uh, Mauer and Morneau. Did they ever go to the M- or ALS? That's kind of like a similar yeah. counterpart to uh, Milwaukee, I guess. It's not the Rays. They've gone. The Red I would Sox say I don't know. I like the maybe the Orioles. The Orioles. The Orioles went against. Oh yeah, that's a good call because they lost the Need Royals. I'm saying either Twins or Orioles. What about the Athletics? Five. Athletics, final answer. I like athletics. Let's go athletics. Athletics. I think that was before, though. Other side. Fuck, man. All right. I think the Twins is a good answer, boys. Blue Jays. (laughs) The Blue Jays ever go? You're just talking to a cloud, brother. I, I like I like, I like, like, I like, I, twins. like I said, Orioles and Twins. I feel like we got a 50 50 shot. The Orioles right there. suck, though. They haven't been to the ALC. Five. Twins usually they lose every year to the Yankees in like the first round. Though. Three. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, final answer. That is correct. One to nothing. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. What was it? Good job, Dana. Blue That's Jays, one nothing. That's a oh steal from God, the MLB dude. boys himself. That is a field. Wow. Genetics took over right wow. there. I love right. tough. Celebrity mashup. This is for the booze. Uh, this is for Booze Pony, celebrity mashup. God, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. That's huge. Early That's league. huge. Ah. And the two celebrities, Booze Ponies, mashed up in this photo. <sighs> Come on. All right, oh, I, got, that's I got the, the girl. Um, I got the inside. I think I, I have got the, the guy. I think the, is the guy the impractical jo- one of the impractical jokers? It could be or Jack Black. Jack Black is who I was thinking, yeah. Okay, Jack I like Black, Jack Black. The inside yeah, is Sarah really Silverstein for sure. Sailor Silverman, you mean? Silverman, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, it matters. I, I don't think the, the the practical guy's famous enough to be on on here. Well, I think that you he's never on know. Part. He's got. I know he's got. Jack, some of that Jeff, I think Jeff. Oh, it looks like him. Fuck. What's his name? Uh, Sal. Not Sal. It's fucking. Fuck. What's his? What's the other one? It's not Joe. It's not Murr. We, it's, I think we go with Jack Black. You need an yeah, I think we go with Jack Black Five. too. That's not Jack Black. It's not fat at all. Uh, Three. Jack Black, Sarah Silverman. Oh, fuck. What's his name? That is correct. Oh, let's go, boys. It doesn't That's matter. It's fucking now, I'll, I'll tell you what. You you going from Jack Black and then convincing yourself it was like Joe from Impractical Jokers would have been. That would have been. <laughs> Dude, I mean, that looks close. That's close. I mean, that, hey, and that, not only that, he just that he goes, it's not Jack Black. He's not fat enough. It just <laughs> Jack Black taking It does look a little bit like Q from Impractical Jokers. Two to nothing. Chicago, here's your chance to make it two to one. All right, let's bounce back. Let's go. Galfinakis. Yeah. And can't yeah. no. The the Amy Schumer the the oh yeah uh, yeah Amy Schumer yeah, the Amy Schumer the Amy yeah, Schumer. yeah. Right. Amy the bad girl she's she's a naughty girl yeah yeah final Amy, Amy Schumer and Zach Galifianakis that is the easiest one of all time That's oh the fuck you Compton fucking... seriously dude my legs turned off hold on Jeff. God, dude okay. Says a guy who played in the Big 12. Two to one. I think <laughs> tough one. Tough one. Tough one right NBA. There. NBA. This is for the booze ponies. Don't say it, Will. Don't say it, Will. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say 2009, nothing. 2009, 2010 Hawks won 53 games and had two players average over four assists a game. Joe Johnson and this forward. It could be uh, Paul Millsap. You guys have anything to add or no? I, I, I Dana, agree. this is your niche. This Sorry. is your fucking niche, bro. I, actually, I think it's Al Horford. Al Horford, hot final answer. Other side. The only the only Atlanta Hawks forward I know of during this time period is Sheldon Williams from Duke. I was going to say uh, that lottery pick that smoked Illinois. His uh, name is Williams, too. Marvin Williams. Marvin Williams, yeah. Wasn't he on the Hawks? He was on yeah. the Charlotte Hornets, I believe. But No, I thought he was a Hawk. 
Mm. If only that was the question. Let's just take him. <laughs> Five. All right. Do you want to? Do you want to go with Marvin Williams and? I have no idea. Go, we don't need a double dip. Just let's go to Marvin. Let's go with Marvin Williams. Josh Smith. Josh Smith. Ah, that's actually I forgot about him. I rushed that, now. boys. I rushed that. You can tie it all up. Right, it's all right. All right, let's go, boys. 2013-2014 Blazers won 54 games and had two players that averaged over five assists a game. Damian Lillard and this forward. Nicholas Batum is a guess. Batum is a guess. <laughs> I was pretty confident. Mm, I mean, that is a name, and he was I on don't the even, I think he might have been on the Blazers. I, I think he was, too. Um, I don't see him as like an assist guy though. Nah, he was he was just shoots from the corner, seven footer with range. So, any Europeans? Sabonis? Nah, he was gone by about ten years. <laughs> yeah, Scotty Pippen. Gone. Uh, Scotty uh, Pippen's I mean, too far off. I mean, we know we know Batum. I, I don't hate that answer because I can't think of a better one. Okay. Five. We'll just fire away here. Just All right, Nicholas Batum. We're tied up. That is correct. Let's oh, go, baby! Dave Nicholas Batum. Dave saying Scotty Pippen wasn't that far <laughs> off is the most insane thing I've ever heard. I mean, he re he retired like in 2006, right? Yeah, it's 2014. <laughs> Dana, are we ever going to get a point in the NBA category? Someone yeah, dropped we'll Arvidas Sabonis. Was it really Nicholas Batum or is this like a Batum prank on me? <laughs> no, it really was. You had it in the first two seconds of that question. Uh, here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Chicago steals. Not that Chicago's no NBA. Chicago steals NBA. Booze Ponies steal MLB. Here we go. Uh, chain restaurants. This is for Booze Ponies. Chain restaurants. His popular Chili's appetizer is chicken, black beans, corn, jalapenos, cheese, red peppers, and spinach wrapped in a fried tortilla. It's a Southwest uh, egg roll. So uh, yeah, that that's a right. great guess, man. I'm more of an Applebee's ahead. guy, but yeah, that sounds. It might phenomenal. is it an egg roll or a, what's the other roll that? I mean, that makes it. That makes no. I mean, yeah, egg roll. Yeah, Southwest <laughs> egg roll. Flour tortilla. Southwest, that Southwest, egg roll. Southwest egg roll. Final answer. I'll take that. That is correct. Let's go. You think I haven't eaten that fucking chili a million times, boys? They say Southwest. <laughs> I go we we think Southwest egg roll is close enough. The rules guys say that's okay. Here we go. Other side. What was the actual? What was Southwestern, the, what was the name we will, of it? We will accept that. Now we're more lax this year. Two rolls of bread. Two rolls of bread appetizer coated in cheese and garlic, come complimentary of red lobster. With more available for purchase. What is uh, the? Uh, it's a cheddar biscuit. Um, We've drafted this before. And yeah. We're yeah, yeah, these are cheddar biscuits. Final. Just like the other one, I'll take that. That is correct. Cheddar Bay biscuits. Oh, it's Cheddar Bay. I will take full. I will. I will. I took Southwest Egg. That's why I said that. I appreciate that, Jeff. I don't have the menu in front of me, and if it, to me, it's like if the server knew exactly what I was asking for. We're a little more subjective. We're a little. It'll be a little easier this year on certain things. Appreciate that. Music next category. You're gonna hear a song. You can hear it. Well, you can hear it three times because I don't know how we're on a new system. It, I load it right in now, so I don't know how you're going to be able to hear it. Uh, you're going to get a song. You're going to hear about three to four seconds. You're going to tell me who released the song. This is for the Booze Ponies. Tied up three to three. Come on, boys. 2013 songs for the Booze Ponies. Here you go. I can play it one more time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna let it burn, burn, burn. I don't know who it is, but I know the song. It's a girl. What's her name? What's her name? Fuck. We gotta get Camilla, the Camilla Cabello. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. I don't know, boys. She's like Katy Perry adjacent, but more EDM. <laughs> Fuck. Dave, do you know this one? I don't. I we'll talk about it. I know. I know I'm the same way with that. Selena Gomez. I don't hate that. I don't hate that actually, but five. I don't know if yeah, I don't it think it's right. Four. But fuck it. Selena Gomez. Final Selena answer. Gomez. Steal. All right. I do not have any clue. I I know the okay, song then, just like they do. Do you want me to call Colin now? Well, this is a steal. No, we can't on a steal. Oh, shit, I forgot about our life. Oh, wait, we're not allowed to call on a Never. steal? Never, not yeah, once. Um, burn, burn. Call, but call Can you play it again for us? Burn, burn, burn. 
Yeah. Can you play it again for us? I cannot. I can only play it for the team that gets the question. That's the rule. We can say, like, Gwen Stefani or somebody. Four. It's not Gwen Stefani. Okay. Uh, Two. Megan Trainer. <laughs> Adele. Dua Lipa. Ellie Golding. Ellie Golding. Burn. Burn. Ah. Mm, Other side. Yeah. <clears throat> Good song. Good song. This is a 2013 <laughs> song as well. Here it is. Oh, play one more note, Jeff. Can you get that voice? You heard the breath. They're the yeah. breath. Yeah, no. She's taking a breath. Can she I is. Call him? She's taking a breath. Yeah, you can't. It sounds like a Rascal Flats, though, that kick drum, <laughs> the, the way the snare comes in. I said Rascal Flats. Uh-oh. Con, you little fucking prick. Is, what, does this guy have a job or something during the day? Oh, oh my wow, God. This is sick. He's got fucking big legged. <laughs> oh, Colin! Oh, wow, what a late answer! Oh, Holy wait. shit! Wait, can you see? Can you see the? Oh, there you are. Okay, hey, hold on. I'm gonna crank it all the way up. Everybody, shut up, Colin. Who sings this? 2013. Oh. oh my god, Dave! Who is it? It's terrible. It's Paramore. Thank you. Final. Yes, Colin. That is correct. It's Paramore. November 11th, we are bringing the Barstool Invitational to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Game 1, 5 p.m., UAB versus Toledo. Game 2, Mississippi State versus Akron. You want a unique basketball experience? Buy your tickets today. They're cheap. Bang! College basketball. College basketball. Anyone want a double? All right, here we go, Dana. No, actually, we save our double for NFL. You sure? Yeah. I don't let's know, bro. You don't want to do the double now? Them? No, let's save it for NFL. All right. Okay. Why wouldn't we do the Why wouldn't we do the double on uh, the cooking stuff? You can't. Oh. It's a niche. Yeah. Let's just we're we're, we're no no double no double. Four to three, round six. Here we go, for one point. Booze ponies. TJ Leaf averaged over 16 points per game in what 2016 in the 2016-2017 season while playing alongside what freshman All-American point guard. Okay, I don't want to give away too much, but this is this is UCLA. So think of any guards that were there. Dana, you're on your own, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I think I know it. I have a feeling I might as well. <coughs> Well, I shouldn't say that. But I have, I have one, I have one name. <laughs> Fuck! Who the hell was their point guard? Ten seconds. something in five four dana three yeah, two i don't know God. lonzo ball. was, it, was this ball? the lonzo team yeah, yeah ball. My, oh lonzo ball it was his brother though right yeah it was no. the other boy no it was, who's the oldest one it's the oldest lonzo one. it's lonzo, it's lonzo the, old, the oldest the guy on the bulls yeah yeah i know but would he give us a player that's currently on the bulls that's the only thing that was my guess too though I, that's the only name I have, and I feel like that team had T.J. Leaf got picked in like the yeah. set. We'll take Lonzo Ball. Jeff. That is correct. Five to three. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. That he hey, Dan, he wasn't drafted by the Bulls. I don't. That, I, I, that gets that starts to get a little too hairy if I start eliminating. Hey, would draft. you have known that if I didn't say UCLA? Yeah, T.J. Leaf is a memorable guy from that. Yeah, team. I I immediately thought Ball. I couldn't. I didn't know which one though. I was just gonna throw Ball out there and. That's so easy. Other side. I said it first. Oh, to make it six to three, heading into the bonus round. Hey, well, wait. Do we get two points for that, or how did that hey, work? Only, Why does it say two two X at the top here? Uh, ignore that. Ignore that. That's ignore the, that. That's, okay. Okay. Sorry. sorry. It's a lifeline. That's my graphics. Yeah. 
right. yeah, Alonzo Trier averaged over 18 <laughs> points per game in 2017-2018 season while playing alongside a freshman All-American center. I need to change that. It's a good catch. I mean, the only Mo Bamba? Wasn't this right around the time Eddie was making Mo Bamba jokes? The Shaq West guy? Yeah. That, uh, like, freshman All-American center. I don't know any – I have no clue who Alonzo Trier is, where he played or anything. Was that – um? Was that uh, Dayton or Ayton? Ayton. DeAndre, DeAndre Ayton. I like Ayton. that. I like that. I like DeAndre Ayton there. DeAndre Ayton was an All American. This is a freshman All American, so I don't he know if that makes a difference. But... Didn't Ayton only do the one year? Yeah. Then let's let's let Ayton. Ayton's a big name. Ayton is Four. definitely a big name. Three. All right, we'll take we'll take DeAndre Ayton. That is correct. Oh motherfuck! And. Chicago heating up, going into the bonus. Round. Dave, how did you? Are you? How did? How do you know DeAndre Ayton, Dave? We I, used I, to I be good that. basketball guys. Like I, I used to follow college basketball like quite a bit. I still do. Time to make the donuts. NFL draft is a bonus round theme. Both teams have their double. Booze ponies have all their lifelines. Chicago, you're out of your phone a friend, but it was successful. Here is the question. Booze Ponies, you're up first every round. Dana, I'll take the answer from you. If you like one of their answers, give it out. You can just say that's fine. Uh, same with you, Chief. If you like their answer, just say we'll take that one. Here we go. About 10 seconds per guess. First, uh, team with the most after five rounds gets two points. In the last 24 wide receivers taken in the first round of the NFL draft. Justin Jefferson. Um, Justin Jefferson. Uh, Olave. Is that your guess? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Garrett Wilson. Start stacking them up, Will. Chief, do you just want to go until you need help? Uh, um, Nikki. Yeah. yeah Nikki Larry. Yeah. DK Metcalf. Drake London. Drake London. Like, just say how, how about the guy from TCU went right after Justin or right before Justin Jefferson Rager five five oh no that, that dude from Purdue is just a first rounder Robinson Robinson Rondell Moore Rondell Moore Rondell Moore Rondell Moore Rondell Moore Rondell Moore Chief no I don't even know if Rondell Moore is a good answer I'll say Dante Smith Don yeah we'll take him yeah take him Alabama Smith uh, Devontae Smith. Yes. Hey, did, didn't, uh, didn't DK Metcalf go? No, no, no. Well, it's right, hold on. Chicago, it's Chicago, it's Chicago. It's Chicago. I mean, that's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll take, we'll take Waddle. I need full, Jaylen, I need full yeah. name on every player. Right. Jalen Waddle. Final. I got one, boys. Is this for the win? It's in. Yeah. You got one? Jamar Chase. Ah, fuck. Six to five. That is I correct. Didn't that Illinois receiver go in the Will, first I don't round? Think, Will, I don't think Metcalf was first uh, round. He was not. I, thought, I think he he wasn't? He was not. No, he was like third round. People slept. I thought he Everyone went before, I thought he, I thought he went Jackson. before uh, A.J. Brown. No, nah, his Everyone was Met, talking Metcalf's about thing was, yeah, they said he couldn't, he, like his shuttle time at the combine sucked or something stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah Chicago, I need me. And I should have I should have known Traylon Burks right out of the gate. Reset, six to five. Booth Tony's, you're back in it. All right, that's big boys. Here we go. That's big boys. Come on. Here we go. Nice round, boys. Next category oh, is college man. football. Does anyone want to double college football? Yeah. Well, uh, no. No. Hey, hey no. we got our phone a friend and double boys. Okay, one point each. I'm in the office, though. I can't ask, like, Big Cat and everyone. They're all here. Brian, uh, this is for right. Booth, no, for Booth Ponies. Here. We want to double. Brian no? Johnson was the primary QB of this school who compiled a – you can't phone in front of a double anyway. Compiled a 22-4 and four record from 2007-2008 and had a BCS Bowl win. It's for Booth Ponies. I want to say it's Georgia Tech, but I don't have any faith in that, so I feel like we should call someone. I'm going to call Brandon Walker if you guys don't know. Yeah, do yeah, do Brandon Walker because it's Georgia Tech. It's I don't think 
one well, of what, do you, would you rather even get him from I'm the office? Paul Johnson, their coach. I don't know why. Dana, is it safer for me to just grab him from the office, or do you want to call him? There's a chance he has an answer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, go let Donnie do, do that. Jeff? Should I go grab that him? Allowed? Yeah, it, that I allowed? prefer if people come in. It's better for content. Hey, eyes up, Dana. I don't want yeah, to see I you got fucking Google. Jay Layman. I was looking at a group. Jay Layman. Carl. Oh, my guy. Oh, there he is. My guy, Jay Layman. Oh, oh, Brandon, God. don't answer. Don't this, move it. All right. First of all, I'm recording. I'm recording um, on this day of reference right now. He had to come interrupt my podcast. Casey Smith is pregnant and mad as hell. Now I got to go deal with that. Good. Oh. That sounds like a personal problem. Ask me the question. Brian Johnson was the primary QB of this school, compiled the 22 and 4 record from 2007 to 2008, and had a BCS Bowl win. It's Utah. So? God damn it. Fuck you, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> oh, fuck you, you cheap piece of shit. Brandon. I love you, you man. Man. You can't man look a motherfucker. Tied up. I love you, B-Walk. Yeah, Brandon, thank you. I love you. Thank you. Tied up. Other side to regain that lead. Tony Pike was the primary QB of this good. school who compiled the 20. Cincinnati. 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 I literally Cincinnati. met him last Cincinnati. week. You met Cincinnati last final. Week? I met him and I was on a show with him last weekend. Damn. Wasn't he getting some first for. round boys? All right. Shout out Cincy. Uh, it is seven to six going into movies. Movies. Every team has their double. Neither team has their phone a friend. You both have your double dip. Movies. This is for booze ponies. Ooh, I like movies, boys. <laughs> in Grell and Tina Fey starred in this 2010 rom com where a boring married couple's attempt at a glamorous evening goes off the rails. Um. <laughs> Man, what was, what was that one? It was a it was a uh, it was a comedy. It was like uh, it's, it's not dinner for schmucks, is it? Yeah, yeah, I think it was that. I think it was dinner, dinner for, for schmucks? schmucks. I got nothing better. Let's go dinner for schmucks. What? Oh, fuck. Is it just called like date? It's night? It's the blind date or date night or blind date. It's date night or blind date. I haven't seen any movie with Steve. Kroos. I think it's date night, Chief. I think it's date night too, and I've never seen it, but I feel like I've seen the tile on Netflix. It's about a I date, yeah. They, it's on Netflix this forever. Last date year too. I date night. I I thought it was something date. I thought it was blind date. You saying date night? Four. I'm date night. I think date it's date, date night. night. Final date night. That is correct. Date great, night. Great pickup. I should have thought about that one longer. That, yeah, that, that one's on me, boys. That's on me. You're too quick on that. Was the first time Fox was like Paul Rudd. I think Steve yeah, Crow was, was, yeah. was in that one. Question says nothing side. about Paul Rudd. <laughs> Other side. <laughs> Jim Carrey and Zoe Deschanel star in this 2008 rom-com about a cynic who dramatically changes his life after going to a seminar. The mask. Eight to six. <laughs> Eight to six. Uh, I got nothing on this. Almost famous. Carl, you got anything? I mean, yeah, I'm thinking yeah, very hard. Carl's so Guardians got no shot. I don't like how excited Will is here, waiting for us. I I don't have it, so. Uh, do we? What's the lollipop or the ice ice cream cone thing? What? <laughs> the life double dip. Double dip. Double oh, no, dip. We're not, no, we, we don't not. even have one guess. Yeah, yeah no. In. Lollipop. My one point of the game's coming, boys. Five, four, <laughs> three. The number twenty two. Final answer. One. No clue. Deal. <laughs> Boost ponies. Give it to him, Will. Give it to him. That's it. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, man. Final answer. On the board, Will Compton. That is correct. Let's Eight go. to seven. Oh, that's where he has to say yes to everything, right? Yeah. yeah. You come on, Willie. That's what I need Let's for this. Let's go. That was with Paul Rudd, where he's like the little bitch boyfriend that does everything and doesn't have friends. That's that uh, the, no, that's I love no, you, man. That was I love I, you, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul yeah, Rudd is great movie. One of my favorite. Next movies. category better be Paul Rudd. T- TV, TV, eight to seven. Nobody wants like to double. TV boys. <laughs> this is for. I mean, fuck, I don't know, Jeff. Booze ponies. Caesar Milan was the star of this National Geographic reality series that had its original run from 2004 through 2011. Oh, oh, see, that's the, the uh, dog whisperer. The dog whisperer. I, 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 dog whisperer. Yet. I know he was, a, I mean, dog whisperer has to be, what, but I don't know if that was Nat, Nat Geo or Animal Planet. That's the oh. only thing I know it hit with Caesar in it, Milan. 
Dog whisperer. Yeah, dog. Whi- yeah, yeah. It's dog whisperer. No, yeah. All right. All right. Dog. Dog whisperer. Final answer. Yes, yes sir. Tied up. Eight to eight. That is correct. Let's go. God damn it. That's my guy, Donnie. That's, That's my, my one point. Let's go. He won't go away. Here we go. On the side. They gave the lead. Man, we should be. Paul Tootle uh, Sr. and Jr. were the main stars of this that. Discovery Channel reality series that had its original order from 2003 through 2007. I don't have any fucking clue who those guys are. <laughs> I've never heard of them. All um, right, so f- it's a father son. Yeah. Uh, it's not storage. It's not. It's not are they fixing cars. stuff up? Are they buying stuff? Are they uh, collectors? Those are all on. Uh, what about what about what about the Chopper series where they fix fucking massive road bikes? American, American Chopper. Chopper. Final Chopper. answer. All right. You guys don't have a guess. I'm taking American Chopper. Yeah, it's fine. American Chopper. Chicago regains the lead. That is correct. Let's fucking go! Oh my god! What a savage! What a savage! You just play. you just saw the wheel. No. I just talked it all out. How I think about that. Just fucking what, boom! What a match! What a match we have right now! Fuck! Wow. I'm so pissed about date night. Dinner with schmucks? What a schmuck fucking answer, comp. <laughs> I'm sorry I put that in your head. I was too quick on the draw. Hey, it's oh, that's just how, all you right. punched, how you get punched in the mouth and how you respond. It keep Fuck, moving Carl, forward. Right 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 your ass Niche category time. Booze ponies. You pick cooking terms. Cooking terms. Let's do it, Donnie. Other side. There's Chicago a lot of terms. Bears. I'm Here's your question. Booze ponies for the lead. The five French no, mother sauces, no. hollandaise, tomato sauce, classic, bechamel, uh, velote, how do you say that? And another made by thickening brown stock with the roux. What is that last one? What's that last sauce? That oh, would be... fuck. Well, there's two technical answers for it. So, I mean, I'm going to go with Espanol. Is, is, there, there's two names for it, but... That's a hard one because there's definitely two names for it. You better well, did just Jeff? Don't... Did Jeff? Do you got to fucking get Jeff right? School? Well, what? Hold on. What two answers? If you answer you something got, and you think it's you think I'm wrong, you can challenge it. That is allowed. All right, Espanol. Final answer. Yes. Dana? Yes, sir. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> Chicago Bears. Yeah. Chicago Bears for the lead though, for the lead back. The Bears started the Tressman era 3-0 with a 40-23 to Sunday night win capped by this player's fumble return touchdown. This should say in Pittsburgh, by the way. It got cut off on my thing. I was going to say that was a Steelers game. Oh, sweet girl. Well, what year so, was the Tressman era? Uh, I would... 14? My initial reaction is Lance Briggs. Like Lance Briggs or Peanut. I'm trying to think of that secondary... Like, Nick Roach. Brian Urlacher. Uh, was Nate Vasher on those teams? Should, we should player? probably use a double dip Cannot on this, by the way. Uh, what? Cannot on a niche. No, no lifelines? Can't use any lifelines on a niche, no. You think he's going to give three Chicago guys like Lance Briggs or Peanut Tillman so or who Brian would be? What about, what, about the, what about a D lineman there? I feel like, fuck, no, no, no. It was a long fumble return. What year was Tressman starting? Was that 2014? Was his first year? Yeah, Dave, it, this is, yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Need something soon. Yep. All right, so I I'm do. Say, I'll throw Julius five, Peppers out there. Four. Chief three. <laughs> Chief two. Taking Lance Chief Briggs. one. Lance, Lance Briggs. Other side. For some reason, it's Peanut Tillman sounds right. Or Eddie Jackson. I don't even know if he was on the team at that point, but oh, Eddie Jackson fuck. sounds right. Oh, God, Eddie shit. Jackson. Final answer. Final answer. Chief, that a boy. Whoa. He just yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Good we team, Chief. We can get into that one. He probably wasn't even at Alabama. Hey, he was probably what? in high school. What, what, just, was ha- what just happened? Julius Peppers. Jackson. The answer was Julius right Peppers. No! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Dave. I heard. Okay. I, I heard. I played a reaction to that. Okay. 
Fuck. Hey, Cobb and Donnie, that's big. Here's We're the deal. Right now. Chief, you should have listened to White Sox Dave. I know, but at least we played good defense. It was good defense. Great defense. Fuck. Geography. I picked up what you were doing. We got to reset. We got to reset. It's important. Geography is next. All right. You don't double this. All right. we you got to double the point. last category. I cannot tell you what the last I'd category is. I'd say we double oh, geography. Do you know the last category? No, 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 no. Hey, Jeff. If you don't do geography, oh, this is. I'll explain. Really Give me geography. a second. I'll explain. I'll explain. I know whatever that. <laughs> the next category is geography. I cannot tell you the last category. If you don't double this category, the last one is automatically doubled because you have to use it. And you, when you steal it, you get two points if you Correct. steal a doubled answer, right? Correct. All right. I mean, geography is so broad. Will, how, what are you good at geography? Well, let's capital. Let's save our double. Brother, I, I grew up a... in small town Missouri. My geography language is not that high. Let's save our double. I have <laughs> hey, a we'll like... double. Yeah. Jeff, we'll, we'll double. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll double. Geography. We'll double. All right, we'll save it. Hey, George, leave it. Geography no double. is doubled. This is, though, not us. for the booze not us. This is for the booze ponies for one point. Put these stadiums in order of distance closest to Mount Rushmore. Citizens Bank Park, Truist Park, Petco Park. Okay, let's talk this out. Petco, stadium uh, Petco, Petco is in California. It's a sports geography question. Okay. Citizens Bank, I believe, is East Coast. So Petco's closest so far. I don't know what Truist is. A is uh this is gonna sound this is a dumb question is uh mount rushmore where is that nevada north dakota it's like so south dana dakota. dana i also want to know dana hey, jeff 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 please edit that part out, <laughs> edit that part out. that's all <laughs> dana you have it's to use your double dip like now you cannot use it in round 12. you don't have to use all right, it let's use now or never. Dip. okay let's use our double dip i want to say you better know this closest is petco then truest then citizens all right i like that Final answer. That is correct. Let's, Let's go. go. No, th Jeff, that is a hundred percent incorrect. There's no way. Well, here comes White Sox, Dave. Uh -oh. Cincinnati. That's Cincinnati, right? No. What's Citizens Bank again? That's Philly. Philly. Okay, never mind. I thought it was Cincinnati for some reason. All right. Uh, yeah, that's good. White Sox, Dave, take a fucking hike, brother. Chicago to tie it up. That's a great. Tie brother. it up, Chicago. Put these stadiums in order of distance closest to Mount Rushmore. Progressive Field, T-Mobile Park, Minute Maid Park. So that's Cleveland, Seattle, and uh, is Houston. Mid in Houston. Um, Cleveland, Seattle, Houston, and Mount Rushmore, David. Okay, T-Mobile is that Seattle. Seattle. Okay, it's going to be – so I'm trying to do the math from Cleveland, Chicago. Two, seven, four, five, 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 five. <laughs> what math is going so on? Like, is Cleveland be... further east than Houston is south? That's uh, – I'm going to go BCA. So T-Mobile, Houston, and then – do we want to? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! no. Cannot double dip. You're saying T-Mobile. Which one's the Dave? No, which one's the closest? Cleveland's, Seattle. Cleveland's closest. That's going to be about seven seventy-five. I'm guessing. T-Mobile will be about a thousand, twelve hundred. Minute made around the same. I need like a. Uh, I need right. a, a like spelled out answer because I don't know. I don't know. Progressive. So progressive Cleveland, and then I would go. T-Mobile. Then Minute Maid, then T Mobile. That's what I would go. I'd go A C B. Five. I, Three. Chief. All right. Yeah. It's correct. Yeah, let's go. Let's Will, go. I think is Minute Maid definitely Houston? I think it's Tampa. This is for the win. Brother, I have no clue. I'm just fired up that they got it. What did he say? What did he say? They said A C B. They said A C B. Can we go ABC or is that no, no five? No. What, where's T-Mobile? What Four. did you say T-Mobile was? Yeah, Three. I Dane, I need something. Two. B B A C. So you're going T-Mobile, Progressive, Minute Maid for the win. Yes. Incorrect, Dave. The first thing is you said was correct. You then changed it. It's T-Mobile, Minute Maid, Progressive. Oh, I'm I'm thinking of Tropicana. you said I'm BCA and then you changed it and. Now you're in a position where here we go, booze ponies. You get this, it's over. 
NFL is. I was back thinking of different orange juice, boys. Dave, did you do it reverse? Did you get the final answer like furthest away, not closest? No, I did it closest. I did Cleveland, then Houston, then Seattle. My head is in shambles right now. Uh, NFL, (laughs) let's reset. Booth ponies, you got this. It's over. If you miss and they steal, they can win the game for two points and win. How? 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 Oh, because it's a double two pointer. Because they would tie it up eleven eleven with a chance to win the game. Here we go. Hey, no worries here, boys. Hold on, my light just no turned worries, off. No on. worries, no worries, boys. All Come right. on. For the win. Drafted by the Dolphins in 2009, this wide receiver spent six seasons with the team, breaking 1,000 yards receiving in 2012 and 2013. I just saw him. I just saw him. Is he still in the league? No. Maybe. Fuck. Oh, I think I know. I think, no, it's not. Fuck. Question. Was Brandon Marshall drafted by the Dolphins? Oh, fuck. You might be fucking right. Was he? Or was he drafted by the Dolphins? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Ah, God, I don't know, bro. No, I think the Jets paid him money. Drafted by the Dolphins. It, breaking 1,000 yards. Like, he's somebody who breaks 1,000 yards. Like, Dude, he's in I those discussions for all those boys. I think it's Brandon Let's go, Marshall. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's go Brandon go Marshall. Are we, are we ready? Look at Chief uh, shaking no. his head. He thinks he's got me again. Brandon Marshall, final Brandon answer. Brandon Marshall, final answer. Nope. It's not playing. Why is it not playing? The suspense is crazy. We'll do it off. Brandon Marshall is no. That is wrong. incorrect. Other side. Uh, yeah, hey, Brian, Brian Hartline. Brian Hartline got drafted at 09, was a receiver. Out of what Ohio about, State. Uh, what about – no, David Boston, he wasn't on the Dolphins, right? No, he was a Cardinal. Chief, I'm going to need something um, very soon. You need it for the tie. Hold, hold, hold on. Fuck. Wait, just wait a second, Jeff. Uh, I mean, you're at a timer. Five. Four. Brian. Need a name. All right, Brian Hartline. Brian Hartline. We are tied up going into the final question. That is oh correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> He's just pulling shit out of his asshole. Unreal. I love it. This is for All right, the let's, win. This is for the win. This... I would have never got Brian Harlan. For the win. Follow. He's a good follow Thank on you. Twitter, too. Chicago, you get this. Him. It's over. You miss it. And the Booze Ponies get it. They win. Drafted by the Ravens in 2011, this wide receiver spent four seasons with the team, breaking 850 yards receiving each season. Uploading the buzzer to the new software, not a good idea. Who is their big play threat? Tory Smith? That's it a good was question. Torrey Smith. It was Torrey Smith. Wait, that's Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith. Let's lock it up. Torrey Final Smith. Answer. Final. Chicago wins 12 to 11. <laughs> what a comeback in the final round. Unreal. Dana, what's going through your head right now? Shut up, Snooki. Oh, it's. What a win to Chicago with three points in the final round. They've done that before. They're one of the – I think that's the third time you've done that. You used to, you've done it to Brandon Walker, I think, twice. Brian Hart, I would have never gotten steal. Brian Torrey Smith for the win. I don't even know what to say. Jeff, can you can you update the score just so we can see it? I want to see that 12 points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chicago Please. 12 to 11. The, the crowd has God, already damn seen that. It. They've seen the new graphic that comes in. Dana, what's going through the head here? I mean, that first of all, that was the best you guys have played as a team. Worth noting. I, it wasn't good I, enough. We have we have potential. I mean, that was good. Take we had a lot. Of, well, I don't know. I got nothing. We had two flaw. Like we we, we well, almost the, had- the hard the hard part is knowing. Like I have to go to bed tonight knowing that I knew the answer was date night on dinner with schmucks, and it's gonna haunt me because that's like a that's a full two point swing because they ended up getting it right, and so I feel like this is on me. Well, I feel bad for you putting it out there. I just saw Steve Carell and said that right away. And then when Carl got the the American Chopper, I knew that for sure. I did, did not think he pulled out of his ass. That was an insane. I just want to say this. I want to say this for for Team Booze Ponies. Listen, guys. Okay, this team was at one point ranked number one, I believe, last season. They were a wagon. So this is nothing to to put our heads down. That's true. We should be happy with this result. Okay. We yeah, that was won. a valiant effort. We we, we're going to get better. We're going to learn from this experience. Okay. That's the best thing we've ever played as a team. That's a good round for us, boys. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Tom. 
You all right? I, I, I'm, I, I, I think it's – no, I do think it's important the audience, your audience should know yes, watching, that while we're doing this, Cleveland just gave up a three-run homer and you're yes, staying locked in. Now watch. I have to stay here and do another <laughs> match, which is fine. That is my fucking job. Um, that was one of the best matches I've ever seen. That was crazy. That was as back and forth as it goes. Booze ponies, uh, I think people disrespect you, don't think you're any good. This is this is, I think you're going to move up in the ranking. Chicago, you're going to get a little respect here too. That's back-to-back double-digit performance dating back to last season. That's it. Chicago, 1-0-0. The next time we see Chicago, they're going to be in New York, taking on in front of a live crowd, Frank and the Frankettes. Booze Ponies, you'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, you will be playing in your next match. I, I have it here. May as well tell you. Uh, your ne- next match, you will be playing... <clears throat> I guess I didn't have it in front of you that well. Macrodosing. Arian Foster versus Will Company. NFL versus NFL. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, let's play off Willie all day long, boys. Dave Portnoy's <laughs> debut match in ZD, Final 14. You'll see that tomorrow.